People have these goals, they've got these dreams, but the problem is, is that they know that, that they're uncertain about the fact that they have to work them. You know, you can have things on paper, you can have things on your board, you can have things that you do, you can read books, you can do all of that kind of stuff, and that will mean absolutely nothing if you don't know what to do next. The status quo is only acceptable to the mediocre. If I'm gonna get noticed in the workplace, if I'm gonna get noticed in my business, if people are gonna choose me rather than choosing someone else, it's my distinction. What causes me to be different? I'm interested in, in finding out what my differences are. We, we spend so long talking about what our similarities are. That the problem is, is that life isn't based upon your similarities. Life is always based upon your differences. If whatever business you have, you're competing with another business. And because you're competing with another business for business, you're finding out what makes you better than that other company and then being able to market that effectively. Every person you know gets 24 hours a day. Poor people don't get 23 hours a day and rich people don't get 25. Everyone you know gets 24 hours in a day the only difference between any two people in this room is how you spend them. Today's excellence is tomorrow's mediocrity. So excellence is a journey, it's not a destination. Perfection is a destination and an elusive one at best. Perfection is always just out of reach. Perfection causes an individual to never be satisfied with the work that they've already done. But excellence that you go into today, and you can fulfill that today, and you can do your best today. I did the best that I could do. When you come to the end of the day, you know that you've done the best that you could possibly have done today. Then when you get to tomorrow, you're looking for a new way to be able to do what you did yesterday. I want to do it new, and I want to do it better. I want to do a better job. I want to create more. I want to make sure that in every area of my life, I am pressing myself beyond my comfort zone. So you have to remember this. You need to concentrate entirely on your most immediate task until it's completed. Everyone say completed. You see, that's exactly what they're looking for. What do you finish, not what do you address? When you finish something, you get it done. When you get it done is when you get rewarded. Every day you'll feel better about yourself the more things you get finished. And when you start feeling good about yourself is when you start changing what you believe that you even you yourself are worthy of. Let me begin by telling you that our first session this evening is called Making Your Dream a Reality. How to make your dream a reality is each one of you know that my personal passion is excellence. I press for it. I push for it every day. I pursue it. I desire it. I strive to become better in ways that I can become better in everything that I do. It's important for me to do this. I cringe at the thought. I really do. I cringe at the thought of being the same tomorrow as I am today. It's so hard for me to be able to accept that. And over the course of my life, I've seen this principle to be true. This principle that I'm about to tell you is a principle that is a life-changing principle. And it's this, is that you will never possess what you are unwilling to pursue. If you're not willing to pursue something, you'll never possess it. In your life, in your family, in your home, in anything else of your life, you need to understand that you will never possess what you're unwilling to pursue. And each and every moment of the day, what's happening is, is that you are pursuing something. You're pursuing something right this moment. If you're pursuing to get better at what you do, then what you're going to find out is that that's what you're going to possess. But if you put no time into something, you can never really expect to get better at what you're doing. Now, it's important for you to know that you're here because you desire promotion. Many of you are here because you really desire to be promoted or you desire advancement inside of your life. You desire to excel. But over the years, I've come to recognize something, that life doesn't give you what you desire. 
Life gives you what you deserve. Life doesn't give you what you want. There are things that I would like in life. There are things that each and every one of us want in life. There, if we could each and every one of us write a new chapter of life, we wouldn't write it the way that we're writing it right now. We wouldn't kind of have it the way that we are experiencing it. But if what you'll understand is this, is that life does not give you what you want. Life gives you what you deserve. And so in understanding that, if you understand that life gives you what you deserve, it can really take a load off your mind, take a load off your back, take that 800-pound monkey and take it off your, uh, you know, off your backside and understand that life gives you what you deserve. What you deserve. Now, what is it what we call what a person deserves? It's what a person puts their time into. If what I do is I spend a lot of time looking at wrong things, what that's going to do is that that's going to bring back to me some things that I don't want for my life. But if what I do is I continually put my, my life and, and my direction, my compass, in the way that I want life to be for me, then that's what it's going to produce. Never forget this. Rising to a new level in the workplace or a new plane in the workplace doesn't happen. It doesn't happen to anyone, any one of us automatically. As a matter of fact, it doesn't happen by chance. You know, different choices take you down a different roads. If you have a different choice, it'll take you down a different road. And it's important for you to understand this. Every bit of your life is decided by choices. Your choice. As we're talking about making our dream a reality, we have to understand that our life is driven by different choices. Wrong choices take you to places that you don't want to go. Where right, right choices will take you to places that you want to go. Or you have to understand this, and please do this. You can choose on purpose to go in the direction that you want your life to go. I believe that that's the reason why that you're sitting here. Because what you want to do is that you want to make your dreams a reality. Most individuals that you'll ever meet in life, they really never do that. All they do is they live their entire life in dreams. They're always talking about what they're going to do someday, how things are going to be someday, what they wish that things were going to be, but they never come to a place where what they're doing is that they're ever experiencing it. But you make your dreams a reality because you begin to move in the direction of that dream. Sitting here tonight and wanting to get better at what you're doing is moving in the direction of that dream. And if what you'll do is that you will come to the place where you are committed to making a different life for yourself and a different life for those that are around you, things will be the way that you want them to be. Remember this, success and failures are not destinies, they're destinations. And your choices will determine your successes. Good things, bad things are not destinies. They're just short-term destinations. But if what you'll do is you'll make the right choices, those right choices will cause right successes to happen inside of your life. You see, it takes action to change and to make things different in your life. I've discovered something. And when I discovered this, it really changed the way that I was looking at life. If you don't do something to increase what you are, you'll never change where you'll go. If you don't do something to change what you are, you'll never go where you want to go. You'll never change the destiny that's about to come upon you. And this is very, very important for you to understand. You need to, to know that there are things inside of your life that if you will choose, it'll make a difference for you. There are people inside this room, and I could ask this because it's true almost everywhere that I go, when I ask people that if there was one thing that you could do over in your life, just pick one out of the myriad of decisions that you've made in your life. If you had one thing that you could do over again, what would it be? Would it change where you are right now? Would it change your life right now? Would it change everything about you right now? And invariably, almost everywhere I go on the face of the earth, people will tell you that if they just...